Zoom, 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 restream. Did you know that you can use Zoom and Restream together as a broadcasting tool? You don't need to use Zoom just as a meeting tool. You could use it as a broadcasting business tool. So watch this video to learn how and why you should use Restream and Zoom together. Hey from the future, it's String. I'm about to throw some epic knowledge bombs and fried chicken at you. Get ready. Since the corona outbreak, a lot of businesses such as myself and other businesses and startups as well have been using Zoom. So Zoom has skyrocketed. You can use Zoom as more than a, just a meeting tool. You can use Zoom as a broadcasting tool. Zoom everything you like to show and promote your business because content is one of the things that you can do to show that your business is alive and kicking and ensure that you're top of mind as well. The fact that you're already using Zoom is a great way for you to like push the boundaries and promote your businesses by using it as a broadcasting tool. My name is String and I will happen to like fried chicken. If you're interested in learning how to better market yourself using video, hit the subscribe button and like and watch this video. So this is Zoom, this is Restream. You go hook up your Zoom over to Restream and Restream is a tool that helps you publish to multiple platforms like Facebook, even Facebook groups. YouTube, LinkedIn Live, and more. So that's the power of Restream and using Zoom together. There are six ways you can use Zoom and Restream together to promote your business and highlight what your business is doing. One, use it as an internal communication tool to broadcast to your teams. Now that we're COVID-19 and we're more remote than ever, isn't this an opportunity to find information that relays it to your teams around the world or teams remotely as well? So why not use it as a broadcasting internal communication where you could share highlights share your weekly updates instead of doing emails why not like be personal about it and use videos as a way to share information and distribute some awesome highlighted moments within the team so it could be announcement it could be news it could be insights directors can use it ceos can use it like Think of it as a way to personalize information in a short snippets. Instead of wasting time in one hour team meetings, why not use it as a way to distribute information and get people to comment and respond to? Why not use Zoom as a panel show? The good thing about Zoom is that it allows you to invite four or more people. So why not set up an expert base show where you invite awesome thinkers and awesome speakers and awesome people in general and invite them on a panel discussion. Use Restream, Zoom and Restream to publish it onto YouTube, build up your SEO and publish it onto LinkedIn Live if you have access to it or publish it onto Facebook group if you want to keep it very intimate. Three, this is personally how I use Zoom and Restream. It's a coaching group tool. Yes, a group tool. There are 10 or 15 people that come in into that Zoom link and these are paid members asking me questions about branding, video, LinkedIn and how to market themselves better and how to build up their personal brand as well. But the most important thing is that how do I connect that to Restream? Well, using Zoom, my paid members have direct conversations with me and then I use the Restream to push it out onto LinkedIn Live or even um, specifically into Facebook groups where people could watch and witness but can't participate because they don't have access to that Zoom link itself. In the link below is the link to Restream. If you don't or haven't had the chance to use Restream, hit the link and then you'll find your way over there. What was it? Four, use it as behind the scenes. So this is an opportunity for businesses, for yourself, to show your face, to personalize, to add character, to show what the business is doing and do that in an interesting way. A lot of times people hide, hide behind the mask, but use it as a way to showcase your personality and add a personal touch to your business. So show behind the business by showing what's going on in your office space or your work from office space. Five, this is where you could do product launches, especially if you have teams around the world. Why not do something extra special by showing product launches in different locations, different teams, and different places in different time zones to get the drift? Do product unboxing, have fun, have creativity, and show different things in different locations. Six. 
don't be limited by what I've outlined. It's important that you have fun and be creative about it as well. So use Restream and Zoom as a way to promote your business and add personality as well. Here are Brand some yourself. do's and don'ts that you should be aware about, especially if it's your first time doing live stream for business. Do be careful with your lighting. If you have bad lighting, it's going to ruin the atmosphere and the tone. Okay, this is what bad lighting looks like. Really bad lighting. <laughs> Don't focus on your perfectionism. So one of the things that I noticed, especially for first timers, is that perfection holds them back. The fear of not being liked, not doing well. In this specific video itself, this is like my fifth take. Um, <laughs> And I actually wanted to give up, but because I really want to share this information and my lessons with you, I think it's really important that to be aware that your first video is going to be crap, but that's okay. The second video is you go do better. So think of it as a exercise of getting better. It's not about perfectionism. It's about progress. Do you focus on good audio? So <laughs> funny story. Actually, this is my fourth, fifth take of doing this video and I actually was on point with my last video because my delivery was great. I was really happy with the way I delivered my content, but the audio sounded like it had a really bad echoey sound. Here's an example of the take that I did before. A lot of interesting places. Five, product launches, especially if you're a global team or have different locations. So I had to like redo it again because I realized that it actually brought down the level of my content. So it's okay to do retakes and don't forget, make sure your audio is on point. First things first, make sure that you have the following Zoom requirements so you could restream and stream, I should say. Make sure that you have a pro account, whether it be a business, pro educational enterprise account. Make sure the host is licensed as well and you're on the latest version of Zoom as well. Sign in and log into your Zoom web portal, not your Zoom app portal. Under your Zoom web portal, scroll down to your account management and then click onto account settings and then scroll, 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 scroll all the way down. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling till you find allow live streaming meeting. Turn on this toggle and it's going to turn blue and click on the ones that you think is relevant. Particularly, make sure that your custom live streaming service is on. Make sure this is on. When you're ready, the next step is schedule a meeting. Name your meeting. I'm going to call it test string fried chicken because I can. And then scroll down to Generate automatically require password. Save. And then when you go down, you go scroll down and click on the live streaming link on the bottom. And then this is where you have to configure. So click onto the configure live stream settings. And this is where you need to enter your details. And this is where you enter the dashboard of Restream. Click on to copy a link for mobile and copy the details over into these here. So the URL, that's the URL, copy over the stream key. And this is like, make sure that you're not showing this as well and enter the URL. If you, and this is where you, on this particular step, Copy the URL of your Facebook page group, um, your Facebook group, your YouTube channel, or other platforms that you want to stream over to. So um, this time around, I want to go to perhaps youtube.com, string story. And then save the details. Oh, don't forget to add in HTTP at the front. Save stream will automatically send your stream to all the destinations selected in your Restream account. So in your Restream account, make sure that whatever you want to publish, make sure that's the one that you want to connect to. At the moment, I want to, for example, if I want to push it out to LinkedIn Live, I can, YouTube, Facebook. And when you're ready to go live, you could start the meeting. Recap, recap, recap. Isn't it awesome that you could potentially 
go beyond Zoom and use it as a broadcasting tool. Don't worry about your first video. Your first live stream is going to be terrible. But the thing is, momentum is key in terms of progress. So focus on progression and momentum. Don't focus on perfection. Now that we're more online than ever, it's a creative way to showcase your business and create interesting content as well. So use live stream, restream, Zoom as a way to broadcast your business and be relevant today. If you think this video is worthwhile and want to know more about how to better market yourself and do better on videos and how to build up your personal brand online, hit the subscribe, like and comment what kind of videos that you're going to plan to make. I'm really interested because I want to build a community here. So let's grow together.